Hello everyone at Pelican Sound. I'm your head golf professional, Tim Harris. Well, we're in January now. We're right in the middle of the season, so we're right in the thick of it. And I just wanted to uh, give everybody an update on the golf operation and how we are continuing with our COVID-19 guidelines. Um, all of us are excited that the vaccinations are rolling out now and we're hoping that we can get back to some kind of normalcy pretty soon. But until that time, we still have to follow uh, the COVID operations, the COVID guidelines, the protocols that are in place. We have a lot of new members coming in. We have a lot of new leasees coming into town. Um, we have a lot of returning members coming into town, returning owners. So it's only getting busier out there. Um, and it, that's kind of why I'm here talking to you today, because now we're getting to the point where tea times are at a premium. Um, we're getting a lot of people put on the overflow list. Um, you know, and it's just that time of year where it's only going to get busier. So I have the uh, COVID restrictions and guidelines for the golf shop and the golf operation here that I just kind of wanted to go over with everybody. You can see these on the website. You can see these in the wave. But uh, uh, talking to you in person here is going to be something that hopefully I can communicate to you how important it is that we do keep following those guidelines. So the, the golf shop is always going to be open. It's open seven days a week now. It's open from 7 a.m. to 5 p.m. Uh, the doors are open when we first started the COVID guidelines we had the doors locked but now they're open we're trying to limit the amount of people that are in the in the shop at one time to, to four um, sometimes that gets a little bit more than that but masks are required so you know the staff is always going to be wearing their masks when they're in the golf shop we ask you that you remember to wear your mask when you come inside also and we do want to see you i mean we have some great apparel tracy does a great job in there uh, we have some fantastic uh, new items that are coming in the shop every day so we want you to come in and see us. We want you to shop. We want you to purchase some items in the golf shop. Um, so please come in, but always remember to wear your mask when you do come in, okay? Um, the other thing is that this has been a hot button subject. Guests, guests are allowed to play the golf course, but they can only come and play from 12.30 on or later. So when you make your requests on Chelsea, you can put a guest request in, but it has to be at 12.30 p.m. or later. And you know, there used to be the rule before COVID where you could bring a guest in if the tee sheet had an uh, open booking. That's no longer the case. 12.30 and earlier is for members only. If you do want to have a guest come out and play, it is after 12.30 only. So even if there is an opening after a booking in the morning, uh, please understand that under the new guidelines, uh, just for the safety purposes, we keep 12.30 and earlier for members only. So guests are more than welcome to come out and play but it has to be 12.30 or later. Until that changes, that's how it's gonna stay. Um, now that we're transitioning into eight minute intervals, you may have seen that in previous wave editions. Um, we have been going on nine minute intervals. Now, based on the demand, we're going back to eight minute intervals on the T, and we're also going to triple crossovers, okay? So we tried to avoid triple crossovers as much as we could um, up until the point where we couldn't really hold it back any longer so much demand for tee times now. So there's a couple of things because we're going to eight minute intervals that I want everyone to keep in mind. Um, we still uh, have the single cart riding going on. It's gotten to the point now where everyone enjoys the single cart riding and it's understandable because it helps with the pace of play, but it's really putting a stress on the cart availability now, especially now that we're going to the eight minute intervals. We are adding more tee times going to eight minutes, um, but it also means that we're using more golf carts. So. Um, while you certainly are allowed to single ride still for safety precautions, we are encouraging you if you're playing with friends and you're comfortable enough with it to please double up on a cart. It's gonna help us out a lot and it's gonna save us from running out of carts. Um, we've been finding that now in the last few days we're getting really uh, close to running out of carts earlier so that the afternoon wave as they come in are, are sitting there waiting for golf carts. So I'm not saying you have to double up, but I am encouraging you, if you're playing with friends, you're playing with a group, and that you're comfortable riding with someone, then go ahead and pair up. It's gonna help us also. Um, the other thing is when you're done your round and you're using one of our fleet carts, please return it immediately. Um, the guys need to turn those carts over. Like I said earlier, the stress is there now. We have to get those carts moving. So if you go to the 19th hole, so to speak, um, please drop your cart off first before you go have lunch or go to the bar area. We don't want to see any of our fleet carts behind the clubhouse there. We want to make sure we can get them and turn them around really quick. So uh, the eight minute intervals are going to get more people on the golf course, which is great. It also means that you're going to have to do your best um, to hopefully help us out a little bit, pair up when you can 
when you feel comfortable doing so. Um, play fast golf, play ready golf. Pace of play is great with the single cart riding. You want to keep it going well, um, even if you're doubled up. So the old adage is that, you know, play ready golf. We really encourage that you do that when you're out there on the golf course as well. Um, the starter will call you to the tee at least five to ten minutes before your tee time. So if we get everybody moving, listen for the starter there. Um, sometimes late in the day, if the starter isn't at the booth, um, you can get to the tee five to ten minutes before your tee time. We'd appreciate that too. Um, I've had a lot of questions about the mandatory $3 gratuity charge that goes on to our fleet carts when it, um, it goes out there. Um, that's just done so that there's no paper money being exchanged, you know, with COVID regulations and guidelines. So we do add a $3 gratuity on per person to the cart that you're using. Some people say, why is it per person and not per cart? Well, when it's two people in a cart, you're, there's double as much trash, there's double as much point, uh, touch points on the golf cart. So we made it a per person charge for the $3 gratuity if you're using our golf cart, okay? Um, towels, we still are providing them. Bring your own cups. Um, please bring your own cups and containers when you're out there on the golf course. Um, you know, bring a Yeti cup or bring a Tervis tumbler um, and bring your own towel. We do have teas that are available, but we have them in little baggies now. You can get them from the starter or from the cart guy um, if you need some teas. And last but not least, um, the driving range. Sometimes it gets a little crowded up there. Um, we ask that you do your best to not arrive too early for your tea time. There's been some instances where, you know, on a men's day or a ladies day, I've seen people show up an hour, an hour and a half before their tea time uh, just to come hit balls. We, we ask that you just try to keep that within the half hour of your tea time if you can because the more people that are up there on the driving range, the more crowded it gets. Um, you know, we wanna be safe. We all wanna have uh, a fun time when we're out there. Keep the protocols in place, which is generally trying to avoid the crowds. That's why we're not doing shotgun starts yet. Um, things start changing here in the next couple of months. Maybe we can look into maybe getting back into shotgun starts and getting a little bit back to normal. But until that time, we're just asking that you still please follow these guidelines, these protocols. I think the biggest, most important thing that I talked about today is um, just being aware of the cart situation now that we are going to the eight minute intervals with the tee times and that we are teeing everybody off into the triple crossovers. Um, it's gonna make more people happy as far as getting out in the course, but there could be delays when it comes time to getting you the golf cart. So do your best, help us out. If you can pair up, we appreciate it. Doesn't mean you have to, but we encourage you to if you can. And um, I guess the biggest thing and the most important thing is that we just continue to stay safe. Hopefully everybody's having a good time when they're out there. Be patient with us this year, a little bit, maybe more than a normal year, and everyone do their part. We're all in this together. We've been hearing that now for the past year, and let's take that to heart here at Pelican Sound as well. As always, you can reach out to me. Come see me in the shop. My door's always open. Give me, Send me an email or stop by. Say hi if you have any questions or concerns about anything that we've talked about uh, here at Pelican Sound. Thanks, everybody. Stay safe, and let's have a great season.